Blooms at Word Channel. My name is Opemi Richard Sinawibo and I'm always, always super excited to have you here. You wonder, right? What is she doing with this? Okay, so today's activity is on how to use the Christmas wreath to create a halo. Who is playing a, the role of an angel in their Christmas play? Or who wants, who wants to dress like an angel for the Christmas party? Yes, so we shall need the halo to complete our angel costume. So you wonder how we're going to use this, right? Are you eager to know? So let's create! Let's begin. Yes, we have the white Christmas wreath. We have the headband, two types. Choose the one we want. Here you glue scissors. We have the thick copper wire or soft binding wire. Either either one, either of the two. So we're going to have we have it in three piece, three strings. Let's start by getting the wreath. Now the binding wire. We'll be using the binding wire to form a circle. So you twist it round it to form the circle. So you twist the two ends round, round. And when you, you, you're done with that, now we need to twist more binding wire around. Now we twist more binding wire around the circular end of frame to make it thick. So remember I just said that. So you take more binding wire, bind it, that twist it around the part that is still singular. So we have one part with the twisted binding wire. So the part without its twisted binding wire is what we're trying to do now. So you twist the binding wire around it. Just do it gently. Now when you're done, we had more. So that uh, couldn't uh, go around. So you had more. So you can have your binding wire in bits. But just make sure you twist round the circle you have made. So now when you're done, make sure to close ends of the wire. This is so that you, you don't injure yourself while creating. So you close end of the wire. So as you use the wire, you make sure you close the end by bending it well. So the next is the headband. Yes, choose the most suitable and make the Y wire free. So I'm, I'm using black here. So now we have the wire, the binding wire round the headband. So you can see the way it's been done. So the essence of the pulling is to prevent it from shaking. So it's to prevent the headband from dancing. So now we twist, 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 twist till you get to the length you want. That's your desired length. Now after twisting, now we need to add this, join the circle to so the frame, that's a circular frame to the Y shape. So now start with the other part. So we have the Y, you can see the Y shape, the Y frame. So now twist one end first. Now when you're twisting, there's this way you twist, which is as shown in the video. So now you twist the remaining or the round the circular frame, just the way we did at the beginning. Now you can see this other part. We are going to show how you twist it. Now we take back. So now you can see, take it on it, take it in, bring it out and take it to the other part. So that way it makes it strong. It makes the twisting strong. For you to take this um, binding wire, the Y frame from the y, um, circular frame, it will take time. So that way the halo will stand properly firmly so now the frame is ready it's christmas wreath time so now apply glue on the circular frame so apply glue on the circular frame round now when that is done then it's time to wrap the wreath round the circular frame so you twist it round it just the way you did the binding wire around the circular frame so we do this now 
when you're doing this do it gently because you have glue on the circular frame so this is to prevent the wreath from gluing together so when you get to the end we have the wire of the wreath itself which is an we, um, the inner um, wire of the wreath that's that the frame of the wreath itself so now you twist this round the end and apply glue so now this is to fit the end of the wreath so that you don't have the issue of it on twisting now gently fluff out the wreath so that whatever part of the wreath has picked glue you can easily use your hand to take it off trimming time yes we need to trim some parts of the wreath now it's looking like a like a like a, an halo but not perfectly so we need to trim off those excesses those flying uh, part of the wreath so we trim it out because the halo is meant to be thin thin it's meant to be thin and not having those excesses so now if you want it to be thinner than this you can keep trimming until you achieve your desired result awesome our work is ready you can see our halo right it's firm it's beautiful you have it on your head now the beauty of the binding wire is that it makes that stand invisible awesome awesome yes awesome awesome I'm sure looking like an angel now, right? Yes, all clad in white and my halo. See my halo looking so awesome, right? So now we've learned how to use the Christmas wreath to create the angel halo. Sure don't forget the band. Now, if you don't have the band, you can use, if you don't have the headband, you can use a ribbon. But it means that when while creating, your ribbon definitely will be dangling, but you can still be creative using the ribbon. Also now, also now, don't forget that after twisting to make the circle and then you twist your wreath around the copper wire, don't forget to trim off the excesses of the wreath. So that way you have a perfect halo. Sure you will remember to do that, right? So if you find the content of my video interesting and awesome, please don't forget to give a thumbs up, don't forget to share, and don't forget to subscribe. It sure do go a long way. In fact, it's so, so, so important to me, and it is important to art. So, before I go, do you know that the exercises you take off from the reeds after making your halo can actually still be used to different things one of it is you can use it to create a snow effect in a play or a presentation so are you presenting to your family on Christmas Day or is it a play in school you can give ideas like this so one of it is you can use the excesses you trimmed up 